Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I want to talk about this painting. I'm going to show you how I made this painting, but I want to talk about, you know, what I guess inspired me to make it. Um, I've been getting some requests of people saying that they kind of want to know what the inspiration is behind a piece or, you know, why I made a particular piece. I mean, it's abstract, so some of it I don't even know going into the piece. I just know the colors that I want to use and maybe the direction, um, like the technique that I want to use. But I don't always know the inspiration of it. A lot of it just comes down to the color. So some of the pieces I know up front of, of the type of look that I'm going for. But a lot of the times I have the color combination in mind and then I kind of work with the colors and see how I can play them out um, to kind of match what I have in my head. But as far as the actual like piece, how, you know, the, the thinking behind the piece, sometimes I just put the colors on there and kind of work with the colors as opposed to having an idea of exactly how I want it to turn out in the end. Now, this piece right here is actually poured. Um, you're going to see this. This is actually the very first painting I've ever poured the paint on um, with it vertical. So I've never really painted vertical paintings. I've, I have used the easel, but that's always like kind of as a slant. Um, or I have done them with them lying down uh, horizontally. So this is actually the first painting that I've done where it was all, it was penned up on the wall and, and it was vertical and I poured the painting. And the colors that I used um, are like a burnt, a burnt crimson color, uh, a blue, a uh, like a light yellow, and then a light green. And they're all kind of pastel type colors. Um, but it, it was all poured and I used a spray bottle. And the, essentially the kind of the effect that I was going for is you can see that it's got like these uh, ripples, I guess. Personally, I don't really like it. Um, it's okay. It's it's not my favorite. I think that I don't like it because there's too much variation between the lines. I don't know. It's okay, but you'll see that in the video. Um, so what we'll do now is I'll actually just head over. Oh, and, and kind of like, I guess, the inspiration for it was I was just trying something different, right? So I wanted to make something that was kind of all gravity um, without being scraped obviously I'll still do the scrape paintings but I just wanted to try something new I mean sometimes you just want to break the mold it's not necessarily that I'm just looking to go a different direction just trying something new and it's a very simple type of paint that you can make although I will say it's very messy um, you'll see that it just kind of gets paint everywhere um, all over the wall so I would not do it in an area that you want to keep clean um, but it, it definitely is an easy type of painting that you can make and it's a series of three that I did so you'll see the other two uh, in separate videos for how I made these and uh, you know how you can make them too and they're all made kind of differently so this is this one by itself this first one I actually made uh, only with paint and water so I literally just poured the paint and used a spray bottle to kind of thin it out but also to spread the paint across the whole canvas but also kind of give it a thinner look um, so you'll see that, uh, so that's pretty much it. So now we'll go ahead and head over and you will not hear me talk. I'll just, uh, kind of put some music over it so that, uh, you know, you can just watch the painting and focus on that. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side.
shadow turns to sun rays and the 